Right, this is going to be a short video. Um, it is evening time. Um, I did spend quite a bit of time at our community centre um, sorting out our craft supplies. We've had quite a few pieces or so donated. So um, that video will be coming up eventually, hopefully. Um, it's been over a fair few weeks um, doing bits and pieces. And so um, I want to include it all together. Um, but today's video is um, about my um, spa treatments I've had, my home spa treatments that is, and I've got my basket here of all the products that I've used um, today. I had um, quite a lengthy bath. Um, as before, I've done one of these, um, I think it was in May, and I had a glass of water before I had my bath, I had a glass of water during my bath and a glass of water after my bath. Um, that's just to obviously um, rehydrate and I'll just share the products that I use. As I said, um, now and again I like to do the full works as I call it um, and I've said this before on a previous video um, that yes I do like different, trying different products out and having a nice bath bomb and things. But now and again, I like to, if I've got the time, you know, and come chill out and relax, um, which I did to today, then I like to do and try all the different products out that I've been um, either purchased myself or been given as gifts. Right, um, let's start what I had in the bath. Right, one of my favourite ones is the Imperial um, Leather Moroccan Spa. It's orange blossom and argan oil and as you can see it's about empty now and it's this one and i said that i had this one um a lot so um i need to put another one in the bathroom now because that one is now finished so that was the first product um washing wise i've used this one um, this is the bath and shower cream in Orange Crush. It's this one. So, and I do like that. It's got such, such, oh, such a lovely orangey smell. And that one actually was from Poundland. These ones I've been getting from Iceland when they've been on offer, but you can get them from quite a different um, array of places. Um, home bargains are quite reasonable as well so that's what I used to wash with and the shampoo I used was this one this is with argan oil again um, this is the first time I've used this one because um, my others my um, juicy apple had run out so I tried this one and again this is another one that came from Poundland and um, it does actually make my hair feel really nice although I have put conditioner on it so the conditioner one I've had this was one I actually had for Mother's Day actually this is the coconut rescue mask and it's boost volume hair and root mask as I said my hair is really um fine and if I don't wash it every night it it looks nothing the next day and I, I've mentioned this before and um, I've been told by my hairdresser not to keep on washing it takes all the um, goodness and oils out um, so that's why I also tried that dry shampoo which I was really actually um, amazed at and it really did the job so this is the coconut rescue mask and as I said I had this um, in a pack that I had for Mother's Day and what I, it does actually say on this one to um, try it um, in on your arm, your in your in arm, just to, to see if you have any um, rea um, reaction to it. But what sort of uh, made me smile was when I was reading it, and it comes up with the warning, and it says, warning. Here comes all the standard blah blah stuff. <laughs> I thought I was funny when I read this. For external use only, um, test a small amount 
on the inner arm, leave for five minutes and rinse off. If irritation occurs, cease use, keep away from children, tiny hands. And it says obviously avoid eye contact. And in brackets it's got PS enjoy. It's just when it said blah blah blah. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I've used this one and oh, my hair feels gorgeous. Um, like I said, I did do it on the inner arm and didn't seem to have a reaction. So um, as I said, some of them I have products I have tested that I haven't used before um, on my arms or something because that's the inner arm supposed to be the sensitive part, isn't it? So I'm hoping I'm not going to have um, any reactions to the products that I haven't used before. As I said, that was one that I hadn't used before and the shampoo one. But the other two, these two, I've used before. Right, and then um, this one is near enough empty. It's really low now. I don't think you can see that, but that, there's hardly anything left in that one. And this is the Nivea Daily Essentials Gentle Exfoliating Scrub for normal and combination skin. And as I said, I've been using this one regularly and I found this one's actually helped my skin a lot. As I say, I am prone to breakouts and I always have been. And so I found this one a really good one and this was something else that I had um, for Mother's Day and I've constantly used this one. So I might have to replace this product again. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna use my famous shower comb and I found this really good so because I have thin hair I have to make sure I comb it through um, as soon as I've pat it to dry with a towel else it does get tangly and much to my family's um, amusement I did try the leopard um, face sheet mask um, with that and yes, I did take a photograph, so I may include that. Well, I did take the photograph, a family member did. And this says it cleanses your pores and removes dirt and oil. So that's it. And I say it has made my skin feel really well. This is the only thing I was a little bit nervous about because um, I've had face masks before and never had a problem. But it's always the same when um, you try something new you know you're a bit wary on um, whether you're going to have a reaction or not and then I did do my nails now this is a colour I don't normally go for but I've decided to go through all my nail polishes and decide um, what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to um, get rid of so this was one I thought I was going to get rid of but now it's on I quite like it I have got two um, I've got three coats on I've got two of this um, turquoise colour, PS, which I believe was actually from um, Primark. I'm sure it's their make. I'm sure it is. So I've put two coats of that on. And then this one, because as you know, I like to put a top coat of glitter on to save the polish chip in, is from Poundland. And it's this um, like greeny... Um, by Jess and I don't know if it's got an actual colour on I can't actually read it in this light but yeah it's this glitter so that's the two polishes I've got on this time as I said I thought this one might be one I would actually get rid of I'm going to live with it for a few days and see how I feel about it I say blues and greens is not normally a colour I would normally um, wear but I thought I'll try it and the final item I used and I've used this before and I've shared it before is I had this for my birthday it's Ted Baker of London soft blossoms and it comes with the nail file as I say this is gorgeous and this hand cream is lovely I would say it comes there's the set and there is the hand cream. So the packaging's lovely as well. And it's by Ted Baker. And this was a gift that I had, say, for my birthday. So I really enjoyed that. 
as I said, um, and I said it in a, a previous video when I did something like this, and I'm, I'm going to continue to do these. Um, as I said, I did one in May, so I might do one every few months or something, and um, just share the products I've used and how I feel they are. I said, um, you never know. I thought if I was going to have a, a um, allergic reaction to anything it would have happened by now because um, I did have this um, late afternoon early evening so um, time is getting on so I thought if I've had any reaction I'm sure it would have happened by now. Um, the only one that seems to got a strong warning on is that coconut one so I don't know whether a lot of people can be allergic to coconut I don't know I never have um, so it'd be interesting to see and as I said I have got another mask to try out and to review and that's the other one that I got from Home Bargains which is actually the um, unicorn one if I remember rightly and as I said this one I forgot to tell you that this is also um, if you see my haul this was from Home Bargains so um, I know going to the spa I have been to spas before um, Many moons ago, even before I had our kids, um, it was something that I'd like to, I like to do. And we did actually used to go. I don't know if the Swallow Hotel is still running now, but they had all the facilities. They had the sauna, the steam room, the swimming pool. Do you know what I mean? And we, for the first few years, we used to go there for our for, um, for our anniversary and um, we did have the honeymoon suite again for our first anniversary so we had the, everything and the giant bath which to me was like a mini swimming pool you know all that sort of thing but obviously for the price you paid for that and that was many moons ago as I said you could go away for a week two weeks in this country for what we paid for a weekend but it was just something that we liked to do and we used to treat ourselves to that sort of thing so because I'm not working, I find things that I enjoy doing or have that experience, like the little um, spa time. So if you do have a spa time in, in your own home, um, please drop me a comment down below and tell me, you know, what you use and um, any recommendations or anything like that, because it's nice to hear of different products. As I said, even, um, you know, people in America, I've said this, and in this country, I like watching these hauls, and I like the recommendations, because I think it's word of mouth, I mean, yes, yeah, sometimes what could be good for one person might not be nice for somebody else, but I think recommendations is actually better, um, you know, and what people think of the products, and whether they work, whether it is actually, um, you know, for your health, or beauty, or spa, or even if it's cleaning products, I'm always liking, you know, to be notified of different products and recommendations out there. I think I've waffled on enough, so I hope you've enjoyed this sort of um, video. The only type of video I don't think I've really covered is my empties, and that's something I might actually um, incorporate soon, um, and what products that I've used like this and used completely up. As I said, we tend to stick to some of the same products that we like and um, we use them until they're empty. There is a couple of products that, you know, um, family members either turn their nose up, whether it, again, it's to do with um, toiletries or whether it's to do with food or whatever. But I think what I might do is um, maybe once a month I might start doing my own recommendations, what I like, what I repeat buys, and maybe on the other end of it, what I haven't liked or um, not agreed to. Anyway, I want to wish everybody a good night. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, do watch my other previous one. I said it is in May and I did check but I hadn't put it on my um, playlist actually under health because there was something else on with it I think it was when I went to a friend's and we did um, I think a little bit of organizing uh, a craft box or something I think it was so uh, I'm going to try and remember to transfer that one onto my 
I don't know whether I called it health and beauty and I did my um, nails in the caravan that's on that one as well said so I have got different playlists if there's something you're more interested in seeing rather than the others as I say I do try and keep my um, videos quite broad as I said what you see is what you get and that's just me so I like to say good night thanks for watching Thank you.